Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, the Rotapalska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to sculpt those beautiful nude set nails, you can have a look in here. Uh, so this is just some kind of my favorite uh, gel, a fiber gel and a light rose color which looks absolutely fantastic even on its own, like there is no need of applying uh, any other colors but uh, let's start doing this uh, nice sculpted set. So you can see uh, this beautiful kind of nude color and that's what we are going to do today. I will show you the uh, sculpting of the pretty long coffin nails uh, with the cover gel. It's not like a very pigmented cover gel, that's why I like it as well because it's kind of universal. It can be used for a baby boomer French or just on its own as well. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, so I have left probably the hardest nail to sculpt and uh, that's my index finger just because it has a really high hyponychium that's a bit um, of the skin underneath which protects my nail but from any kind of inf infections and i will need to trim the form pretty well it's also a really squint finger as well so i'll show you how to apply the form so it looks kind of decentish and then another thing is like eventually this nail grow really strongly down the way um, so i need to put my form a little bit upward so they look nice the gel we are going to use is a fiber gel and I give you the link uh, in the description of this video as well because it's an amazing stuff. They last me really uh, nice and a long time with this gel and that's the forms. Uh, I'm pretty all set up so I'm going to start with cleaning my uh, nail with the blue scrub which is a nail dehydrator. And I do that because sometimes clients come in and they might have some... Um, they have could like scratch their face or anything they could have an oily nails as well so it's good to clean it with the blue scrub before you're starting any work and then you go uh, to file the surface surface oh there we are surface of the natural nail um with the 180 grit just to get rid of any shine in there i'm going to try to shorten this nail as much as possible which is actually really difficult just because of those hyponychium that's basically a skin and some of you if got those high hyponychium they know like how painful it is to catch this place so that's the maximum i can shorten it really because that's you can see the skin here and then i'm going to clean it and apply the new form so i have uh, had actually a pretty busy lockdown i'm not sure what you have been doing guys uh, but uh, i have managed to do a little bit of the gardening and we redecorating still the salon like oh my goodness this is taking ages like uh, but i will do a little tour as well once we finish so i need to cut my form and a couple of the spaces and um, i want to really nicely pinch it so i need to cut it it just on the side so the form slides in really nice so best way is just like kind of measure your nail but make it longer because remember the nail has a curve and then we need to cut out pretty a decent hyponychium space so that's my middle place and i'm just going to cut out my hyponychium space measure the form i could do a little bit more on this side with the cut so some nails you can just slide the form underneath without of trimming it but for this one there's no way you could do that so this is just to support my hand and once i have done this part i can start pre-pinch the form in the fingers i'm just really rolling it nice and it is important that the form like uh, goes nice and straight so i'm always closing like those two tabs but only a little bit just to keep the form in, in shape and the the main um, thing i need to make sure is nice and straight is the central line in here so that's where all my pinching is going to come from and then i can slide this form now, quick uh, theory regarding the tabs and the form application. So, 
if the tabs are overlapping like this, the form comes down. This is too extreme. But like even now, that means the form is still down because they are kind of overlapping. If the tabs are really nice and open, that means the form is going up the way. And normally I have no problems to put the form up the way, but because of those hyponychium is pretty difficult. So that's like really the most challenging kneel. And now also I'm not closing it because I want to explain the things as well. Now, so look how this finger goes like strange. So let me take this out. So it has like a wee twist into this way and I cannot follow like my finger because otherwise the kneel will go like this. <laughs> and you don't want that. Uh, but then at the same time, we should follow those two bones. But if I would go with two, these two bones, the, the kneel thing, like the kneel itself would go here. So I need to find a happy medium because none of those rules would apply to this finger. It would just look silly, like going too much into this way or too much into this way. So I'm kind of finding a happy medium when I'm placing my, my form. Okay, now is the time to apply this form. I know a bit of theory, but... We all need it. And I want this form to be lying nice in the middle with the finger. I want it to go as much up as possible, just because eventually this finger grow uh, down. Also, another thing when it comes to creating an up, up form placement, uh, I will try to explain as well as I can. If we place the form going up a little bit, we are going to have quite a lot of product on our stress point and apex area, but the end of the needle can be really nice and thin. If we would place the form down the way too much, we will have to create an ugly carve, like, and we cannot get a nice and straight look. Uh, but here I need something nice and straight, say example, the file. I want to show you this. So because my form is going up, I hope you can see it. Uh, Okay, I will leave a bigger gap. So because my form is going up, that's mean like my free edge at the end is going to be really nice and thin uh, compared to uh, the form which will go down. Then you've got really thick free edge if you want to get a nice and straight shape. Okay, that's the theory. Enough. <laughs> so I'm just going to squeeze my form. So first of all, I have to make sure it's nicely secure, going up a little bit, and then... I can start closing the form. Okay, I have to be very careful because of those hyponychium. And you can see the tabs are nicely open. And I can start closing the form. So this would be enough, like I've got a wee triangle gap missing in here, but because I'm going for a tapered look, I will just get enough of the form in there. I cannot squish it anymore because of the hyponychium, the form will bend in here. So we are going to do more pinching with the tools. But we can squish it a little bit more at the free edge. And the more we squish the form in here, the higher it goes as well. Okay, so after we have applied the form, I can dehydrate my nail again, just because I was touching my nail plate. Wait for it to dry and then apply the universal air bond. The fiber gel is a three-phase uh, gel, which means it needs the bonder, like a primer, it needs uh, the gel, and then it needs the top coat. So I'm just waiting for the dehydrator to dry a little bit and then apply the universal air bond. And this one, um, it doesn't go matte uh, because it works like a double-sided tape. So it has a little bit of the stickiness, but I love it because you don't have to cure it. So that's the color of the fiber gel and my gel brush and white. So because I'm working with my not dominant hands and this is always awkward and struggle, uh, I'm just going to pick up the tiny bit of the product on the one side of the brush. And I think this is really important part. So one side of the brush, remove the excess of it because you want to have hardly any product going around your cuticle area. 
and this way I'm kind of almost touching it without a flooding. So I can get very, very close to the cuticle area. Also, this way I can get a really nice um, fade effect around my lunula. So this way the nails looking much nicer and more natural. I'm picking up another scoop of my gel, let it, it behave on the brush, like I wanted it more on the one side. And then I'm going to scale, sculpt the skeleton of the nail. This is going to be a pretty long nail. So I have put it more to the spain of the nail. And now I'm just distributing it to the sides. And then distributing to the other side. So nice and thin. I quite like to do the skeleton a little bit outside, so just in case I've got at least like some product on the sides, which is not so I'm not perfecting the shape always to the finish, just always giving an one millimeter extra. So I can always file that and it's not going to take me a long time rather than having not enough product. Let's go one millimeter longer. Again, if I go a one millimeter longer, because it's so thin, it's not going to take me much of the time to file it. Just touch up the corner. And give it a cure. And it has to be a halfway cure, so I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds and give it a light pinch. Uh, do not pinch the nails which are weak, uh, only a strong nails can be pinched, otherwise the product will just lift from the sides or the nail can crack as well. So you have to be very careful with the pinching, not every nail can be pinched. So halfway cure, and then I'm just placing the pinching clamp to get a nicer shape. And cure for another 30 seconds. So let me know in the comments down below as well what have you been doing during the lockdown, like uh, probably cleaning the house, getting the salons ready, or uh, I have seen it quite a lot of uh, girls are thinking of the summer houses. Uh, I think it's a brilliant idea. We had even a chat with Patrick as well. It would be so nice to have a summer house and turn it as a YouTube studio because uh, obviously we are recording it in the living room but then we changed our plans because like there is not much room on the back of the garden I've got too much stuff in there like I've got actually one two three four almost four garden shit <laughs> oh my goodness this is so bad but yeah okay so that's my new cure as well and it's already nice pinched and now I can build up the structure to it so I'm just picking up another scope of the product, just a nice and small amount. And apply on the entire nail. Actually, um, I remember when I was recording one of the first videos with my not dominant hand and I was so bad at it but each time when I do it more and more I think that I can see the difference so uh, as another proof that practice makes perfect and believe me guys I wasn't near as good with the one stroke shaping or anything related to the nails when I started it does really take a practice now the sculpting we need to do a nice and strong apex so I'm picking up like a very large scope of the product and wait 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 and then once I've got a really nice bit I'm going to build up the structure don't go um, don't go to the sides because by the time you finish the product will run to the sides. so 
also if we place the finger down the way and that's what i'm doing with my client's fingers the gravity will help us as well if we place and go like this with the brush or like working with the strings or like playing too much with the product we create lots of air bubbles and we make a really messy look so this is the one of the biggest mistakes i think uh, like working too long with the product and too much and i never i try to never lift my brush from the product to so don't bring any air bubbles okay so don't go to the sides because by the time you finish this product will run to the sides okay so that's kind of shape i'm doing and then clean the brush and you can touch up some places to smooth it out just touch up the places to smooth it out okay so this this way the product works for you and if you start feeling it is danger it starts to run too much just put it to the lamp give it a cure and then add a little bit more because it's going to be quicker and you're not going to make a mess so i have been really playing with it i can just turn it upside down and now pull it to the other side normally i'm not bothered like doing a short nails putting the finger down the way but this is also a good tip for you you can put it down the way so it pulls the apex uh, down a little bit and higher sorry playing with the light okay and now i can give it a cure so again i'm going to give it halfway cure <clears throat> and after that i can do the pinching but this time i will be peeling the form out and what is great about it we can see the shape what is going on in there and we can um, also see if we need to touch up some places we can pinch from underneath so this time i'm not pinching the nail bed but i'm just pinching the free edge uh, so it's nice and strong <laughs> okay so halfway cure that's a 30 seconds gone always tap it and normally i tap it with my nails now i have no nails and you don't want to touch it with your fingers okay that sounds really good and i can pull this form out okay now we want to pinch the snail even more checking my apex once i file it it will be perfect this goes away this goes away the thickness mm, i'm probably missing a little bit of product in these two places but let me check the length yes i went longer so once i get rid of this free edge the thickness will be just fab so i'm placing the pinching clamp this time upside down and oh i love when things happen there we are i don't it maybe even for a reason so the pinching clamp is sliding because the product is um, only halfway cured so it has lots of inhibition layer if it's keep sliding uh, what you could do is take a new file let me squish it more okay so that will be a lovely pinch and um, what you could do is take a new file and give a couple of the scratches let me show you give it a couple of the scratches just inside here with the new file so it is not going to slide from the gel or you could uh, also just remove a little bit of the inhibition layer from the sides but also scratches are best uh, because you are not affecting the nail, nail strand or messing with the product now the metal one great for acrylics but never for a gel because by putting metal on the sides of your nails you are not going to be able to cure the product because the light is not going to penetrate through that so it has to be a clear one and not everyone can have their nails pinched depending on the strength of the natural nail okay so that's my nail cure i can remove the pinching clamp and i've got nicely pinched nails oh, there we are so a nice c curve side view apex and the shape and now i can just uh, start filing the shape okay i just take a little bit of the uv cleanser to 
to remove the inhibition layer and clean the nail and now we are going to shape it because we didn't build up the Kilimanjaro <laughs> uh, the shaping is going to be pretty easy now another tip if you're working with the brand new file take an old file and just scratch the sharp edges okay so that's the nail here oh, got some things stuck in there okay and now we need to shorten a free edge a little bit so sorry i'll be playing different ways nice and straight and what is happening with the structure i'm building the shorter the free edge is the thicker it becomes okay then i need to get rid of those lines so this is the easiest way because you're filing both sides at the same time nice and straight and then they are going to go in the same line okay now i don't like um, two square looking side view of the coffin shape needles i'm going to taper it into those kind of shapes So one side, see, and that was just enough in this corner. One side, a bit more, and then the other side. So it already changed the shape so much. Make sure you don't cut off the corners. So you can see how much nicer the shape is already. I still need to file this side a little bit more. Let me pull the gel out. Okay, so at the angle. And basically what I have to do now is just remove the thickness from the sides and then smooth out all over on the top. So this is the sides. Okay, it's already looking much nicer. And now I will go with this file all over just to smooth everything out. Just like this. <laughs> Trying to squeeze get some room okay plant around the cuticle area I find that this is the easiest way to find my not dominant hand. I will check the land. Okay, I'm just about in there where I need to be. So shorten it a little bit and I need to bring the sides a bit more. I don't like them wide. And each time when I filed on the side, I need to also remove the excess of the product. Okay, smooth everything out. I'm just grabbing a buffer. And it's um, easier when doing not dominant hand to do most of the work with your right hand rather than trying to maneuver with your left hand. Smooth it out. If we're really fussy, we could still go a little bit longer to get a nicer shape. I'm just going to stop on that. <laughs> 
Ah, you don't keep your board. Yeah, and she keeps going. No, no, I'm not going anymore. That's enough. Okay, so you've got apex, which is not overly too high. You've got a nice coffin shape. You've got a C curve. And I just apply the top coat and show you the final look. There have been actually quite a lot of tutorials on the nail structure and I hope you enjoy them all because I tried to like give you all the tips and try to explain the things as well as I can just to make your work much easier. And now I'm just applying the top coat on the entire nail. So very quick way of doing a nice nude set with the half a moon which is visible. Okay, you can also see the light uh, the light lines. They always make the nails to look much prettier. I'm just pop it into the lamp and then we give it a final cure, clean the nails, apply the cuticle oil, which is going to change a lot in my case. I'm not the fan of the excessive cuticle work because later on there are some troubles with the cuticles. Like, uh, so yeah, and this hand looks so funny, empty now, but I think I will do like maybe a long, huge silhouette on them. Maybe not huge, medium length, medium length silhouette. Then I will show you that on another tutorial. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button if you're an existing subscriber, let me know down in the comments below what else you would like to see because I'm happy to produce all those videos for you. And cross the fingers for me eventually, maybe in a couple of years time, we will manage to get a Wii studio or at least some separate room or something where we could record the uh, videos because, yeah, because of all the settings, we have broke already fireplace. We have done so many scratches on my beautiful white floor post-productions of the videos and it's just like I'm fed up of this like been in my living room because you cannot really enjoy your cup of coffee um, when there are all the lights and everything up on the side but yeah that's my new cure I'm just going to quickly clean it let me grab a fresh fresh wipe baby free wipe the baby wipes to show you the final final look so yeah that's this set I should apply cuticle oil nice coffee look thanks guys for watching glittery hacks and bye for now okay bye bye <laughs>